Uh, welcome to Berlin, where I have a band called Possession with me. First of all, could you please tell me a little about Possession? So, Possession is black death metal band born in December 2012 on the ashes of previous project of the founding members, which were leading nowhere, and we decided to gather and start something new, influenced by uh, the old name of the, the gender, like Blasphemy, Archgoat, uh, Holy, and Pell Nazarene. Stuff, stuff like that, yeah. And we released the first demo in November 2013. Released show in Brussels, and then things started and kept kept going until today. Okay, uh, you started Europa Will Burn tour with uh, Black Witchery and uh, Noikal Blitz. How has the tour been so far? Well, so far so crazy, so good, so to speak. Uh, we never toured before because we never found the, the band that would fit all together to make a tour worth doing it, you know? Because touring is most of the time boring, tiring, and uh, we got plenty of offers, but nothing that was interesting in our eyes. And now we are touring with two bands that are friends and brothers to us. And as much as we are different in the style, the aims and goals are very much the same. And we look all the three bands in the same direction, philosophically and spiritually speaking yes yeah uh, like you said uh, you don't easily go to tours uh, how important are live performances for you though <laughs> yeah we wanted to keep it like studio band but um, as soon as we started playing live that we, we we realized that people first told us like we were good live and really get possessed by the music and the performances so we we didn't we didn't choose to play too much either but we 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 understood that playing live was part of our identity and for for us it was kind of also a catharsis, a catharsis and uh, also a way to express the possessed part of ourselves. And how has the tour been for you guys? Well, so uh, as I said, it's very good for the moment. Uh, two first show went very well. Uh, lots of lots of friends came, lots of brothers came, lots of sisters came to, to see us and. Uh, well, nothing, nothing more to say. You, you witnessed by yourself tonight. And uh, what do you expect from less, uh, the rest of the shows? Well, nothing but madness, madness, blasphemies, desecration, madness, things like that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, your latest album was called Exorcision, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, what can you tell me about that album? Well, this album was quite a trial for the band because we, we had to face a major change of lineup when we start, uh, we wanted to start uh, writing it. So we had to retreat a bit, regroup and reconsider what we were, what we wanted to be. So the, at first, at very first, we didn't really want it to do an album. We were more like, let's reintroduce the band to, to the listener with a new demo. So we start, uh, we, uh, First, found a new a new member here with S uh, Iblis to join us on the bass, and Viriak took back uh, complete uh, vocal duties instead of just bass. And uh, we wrote a few songs, sent them to both our labels, Invictus Production and uh, Iron Bonnet Production, and they were they were uh, they agreed they both agreed that if we were able to record to wrote that kind of sound song, uh, we would uh, be ready for an album. So they pushed us further, they, they've been very supportive and giving their, their opinion on what we were doing. And step by step we, we managed to gather enough material to, to record a full, a full length. So it's called Exorcism because I, I think also for the historical meaning of it, it's the ancient Greek word that obviously leads to exorcism, but also as the meaning of taking the oath, swearing an oath. And I guess it was also for the band the occasion to exercise the past and start as a new entity. And uh, that's it. Okay, all that behind you, uh, from where do you draw inspiration for your music? Well, pretty obviously, as I said. <laughs> Every storm we listen. Yeah, gods, gods, and gods like Arch Gold, Blasphemy, Sacrifice Gold, Sepultura, Black, Black Witcheries uh, that are here with us tonight. That kind of stuff, yeah. Oh, is there some other inspiration instead of bands that you might like? Or is there some inspiration from where you draw 
uh, power to your music? Well, we are really focused on uh, histories, histories of all countries, of Europa, and uh, our aim is mostly to to all the, the thematics we are we are uh, we are talking about to make the point that evil can be can be defeat and that uh, in every aspect every history every aspect of the history of man he wins and he will forever okay and uh, what does black metal mean to you guys <laughs> i could i could say i could explain that for hours and hours but explaining is always kind of being traitor to yourself because Black metal is about individuality, and my vision of it will, will not be the vision of the others, and it's not worth talking about what I am as an in, in individual for this. We, we silently agree on what we were doing, and on what we were not doing in the band. And, that's, and then listeners have to take what we offer, their own way and their own meaning to it. Do you care to elaborate a bit about your own uh, version of... Uh your or your own uh, views of the world or and how you see it do you have uh, 10 hours to to record <laughs> with me because i could endlessly speak about this but uh as i said i don't think i don't think my vision is interesting for the others it is it is my path and my my way through life as much as their their vision is their path and way through life and i gather this with people that I consider my brothers and sisters only. Uh, talking about black metal as a genre, how do you see the black metal as today? How is the genre state of now? Honestly, I, I don't I don't play the, the game of I don't play the game and we don't play the game of uh, ge there's gender sub, sub, sub genders and black metal black or we have a vision of what it has to be. It's the same vision as it was when it started, and it's the same worth vision it will forever have. So there's not again not much to to speak about it. You li you leave it, you you have it inside of you, or you don't. Okay, thank you so much, and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.